Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here, and I hope you haven't had this problem, but if you have, I hope this helps. So anyway, so I had a friend that had a DJI Phantom 2 Vision, the predecessor to the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus, and the camera wouldn't work. Couldn't see the camera through the app, didn't seem to work at all. So long story short, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to run you through all the steps that I performed to enable his DJI Phantom 2 Vision to function 100% properly. So number one, the first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to make sure that the firmware on the remote control, the firmware on the Phantom itself, and then also the uh, the app, the DJI Vision app that you have on your iPhone or your Android, you're going to want to make sure that's all up to date. So if it's not, you can go to DJI.com, you can find on their website the links to download the, uh, the applications that will enable you to update the firmware. That's step number one. Uh, step number two is to check all of your cabling connections. And this was actually a point of failure because there is a cable that, well actually there's a couple. There's a cable that goes below the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the, the vibration isolator mount, the thing with the little, the little spongy things, between it and the body of the Phantom 2 Vision. There's a cable there, so make sure that's connected. And then likewise, there's a cable that goes into the back of the Phantom 2 Vision camera. And it may look like it's inserted all the way, but it may not be in all the way. So take it out, push it back in, make sure it's securely inserted. Because I ran into a problem where even though the camera was receiving power, the camera was inaccessible. And it was inaccessible because that, that microphone looking jack on the back was not fully inserted. So once you've verified, okay, so all your firmware is current, your app's current on your iPhone, your, uh, your cabling connection for your camera is perfect, you know, it's not somewhat in there, it's all the way in. Once you've done all of that, uh, what, what you'll then want to do is ensure that when you power everything on, obviously the way, follow the instruction manual, but the way I do it, I power on the remote, I power on the wireless rangefinder, a range extender rather, you know, the thing that's on the controller. I power on the, uh, the, the Phantom 2 Vision and then I power on the Phantom 2 Vision camera because now unlike the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, the Phantom 2 Vision requires powering on a switch on the camera so make sure that's powered on. Make sure all of that's powered on and you should be good. I hope you're good. Uh, if you're not, what I would recommend doing and I failed to mention this earlier. Make sure all of your batteries are charged. So your wireless range extender, make sure it's charged. Your, uh, your remote control, make sure the batteries that are inside of it are, are fully charged. Make sure the battery inside your Phantom 2 Vision is charged. And if you've done all of that and you're still failing to function, something else you may need to do is update the firmware to the DJI Phantom 2 Vision camera. And again, you can go to the support section of DJI.com and you can find a link to download the, uh, the firmware for the DJI Phantom 2 Vision camera. And basically, you follow their instructions there closely, but at a high level, what you'll end up doing is, is downloading that file, copying that IMG file to the, uh, to the micro SD card, and then you're going to use that, insert it into the camera to update it. So the camera, a lot of people may incorrectly believe this, but the camera is not updated through the desktop applications like the, uh, the Phantom 2 is and the Phantom 2 remote is. The camera is updated by way of the micro SD card that's inserted directly into the camera. So keep that in mind. Shoot me a message if you have any questions. I'll do my best to help. Uh, this troubleshooting scenario, as pathetic as it may sound, and it took about, uh, it took over an hour to, to get things right. But everything finally worked, it flew 100%. And that was my first time dealing with the Phantom 2 Vision. Uh, prior to that, I've only used, I had the Phantom 1.1.1, which was the predecessor. And then I've got the most current model, which is the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus. So I hope this helps all of the DJI Phantom 2 Vision owners out there 
because I know it was a little bit, a uh, little bit frustrating, uh, but it did work. And if hey, it fixed, it fixed this one. Maybe it'll fix your DJI Phantom 2 Vision as well. Feel free to contact me directly and share this video with others. Uh, you can go to irixguy.com and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash i excuse me forward slash irixguy. And likewise, check the link within this video description. I've got a ton of uh, of DJI Phantom videos, DJI Phantom accessories, photos, all kinds of good stuff. So uh, have fun and thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.